When it comes to shopping for your new sofa, the first thing that is, will usually catch your attention is an attractive design. Finding a piece with a striking look can often be a case of love at first sight, and you may find yourself already considering how it can fit into the look of your home. However, the saying that beauty is only skin deep applies to sofas too. There is plenty of mass-produced furniture out there that might look nice, but in a matter of months it will begin to sag and fade, leaving you regretting your purchase. You have to make sure that you are investing in something that not only looks great, but will last for a lifetime. If you are handy enough, you can make your own sofas based on your dimensions and with the type of materials you want and are sure to last for years. To help you do this, we have created this video which contains several sofa ideas. In the narration part, we will tell you about 5 key features that make up a quality sofa and why they are important. Hello hello reviewers, welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you modern open frame sofa design ideas for your inspiration. You can use these ideas to try to make your own pieces at home, so we advise you to watch the video until the end to never miss a thing and choose an inspiring design for your next project. You can even turn these ideas into a lucrative small scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. It takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos. Your subscriptions, likes and shares are what inspire us to create more content. Therefore, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. For already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. Remember those 5 key features that make up the quality so far we said we will be talking about? Let's get into that. Number 1. Frame Material Any quality sofa needs a well-made frame that will allow it to maintain its overall shape and integrity. The frame is the skeleton that keeps every part of the sofa together and for that reason it is incredibly important that it is strong and robust, able to stand up to everyday use without compromising on comfort. Many manufacturers use either metal or wood composites for frame in their contemporary designs, but the traditional craftsman choice is hardwood timber, a material that has served sofa makers well throughout history and to this day. Metal frames can be sturdy, but they can also be prone to oxidation with seasonal changes in humidity if not properly finished and cared for. Wood composite frames are cheaper to produce but lack the strengths of hardwood or metal. In recent years, it's become more common for manufacturers to use a mixture of timbers for frames and this is purely a cost-saving exercise and has no basis in good design or construction. Number 2. Frame Joints While a strong frame material can give you the strings along the length, width and height of your sofa, how each piece is connected together counts for a lot too. The right type of joinery carried out by an expert craftsman can further enhance the strength and durability of a sofa's frame. Modern pneumatic machinery means timber can be effectively connected together using metal staples. This cost-saving method is commonly used in mass-produced frame construction. However, there is no question that the resulting product has less strength and durability than the traditional method of connecting timber by proper joining with wooden dowels and the specialist wood glue. In wood frame sofas, prefer where all major construction joints within the frame are both glued and doweled, with the addition of strengthening the screwed corner blocks in vital areas. Number 3. Cushion Filling 
The cushions will provide you the support you need to relax as well as giving your sofa form and volume. The intended feel and look of a sofa will determine which cushion feeling is used. The most commonly used are foam, feather and polyester fiber. Each have their own properties and will add different qualities. There are also instances where two or all three of these feeling materials are used to achieve the desired result. Foam is formed by mixing an assortment of chemicals that cure and then rise into a large block shape, like an oversized sponge cake. The greatest ad advantage of this material is that it provides a soft feel while having an inherent pliability which allows its shape to recover after someone sits on the furniture. The stiffness or softness of the material used and the amount of air bubbles formed during the curing process determines both the overall feel and the density of the resulting foam. The more material, the less air there is in the foam and the greater which is density. As a result, the opposite is also true. Generally speaking, the higher the density, the more expensive and better quality the foam is. Polyester is a fine filament produced from oil-based chemicals which have the qualities of being both extremely robust and adaptable. While the filaments on their own don't have any natural resilience or softness when a large number are combined as a padding, they gain such properties by virtue of the air trapped between the strands. Unlike foam, polyester fibers do not automatically resume their shape, former shape after pressure is applied and need regular plumping up to allow the air to be replaced. While it's initially feeling soft by virtue of the air trapped in between the filaments or fibers, they'll compress easily as the air is, is squeezed out. Fizzers Similarly to polyester fibers, fizzer field cushioning provides a slightly soft and less firm feel than foam. Likewise, they also require regular plumping as features feathers are prone to clumping doing so helps to avoid cushions taking on a lumpy shapeless appearance that can spoil the look of your sofa. Number 4. Suspension a good quality sofa relies on a fast rate suspension to deliver comfort and resilience. It makes up the inner part of the sitting area and combined with the cushion feeling defies what your new piece of furniture feels like to sit on. Additionally, a good suspension system must be capable of withstanding the continuous impact of someone sitting down throughout the life of the furniture, so robustness is an important factor to consider when choosing your sofa. There are three main types of suspension used in premium sofas, coiled spring units, supreme tine or no side springs, and elasta belt webbing. Coiled spring units With conical metal springs attached to the metal latch, these two elements combine a single unit to suit the individual sitting space. The result? A softer sitting experience. This method is used mainly with the less resilient feature of fiber field seat cushions. However, it's also used on better quality fully button seats that don't have extra seat cushions. Serpentine or no sag springs. Individual metal wires are used to form a zigzag shape which creates a spring. These are then attached from front to back within the frame sitting space before being linked together. This is the most widespread suspension method and can be combined with a huge range of seat cushion feelings. Elasta belt webbing. Combine polyester fibers with elasticized threads and you will end up with a durable and extendable suspension belt. It's woven from side to side and front to back with the frame sitting area. This provides an even suspension unit. This method is widely used as a combination with the resilient foam seat cushion fillers.
When creating a quality sofa design, the furniture designer must consider which feelings and suspension to use are the right or wrong combination of the two can affect the overall comfort of the piece. Striking the right balance between filling materials and suspension will produce comfort with the correct amount of support and durability, one of the hallmarks of a quality sofa. Number 5. Upholstery Once all the superior aspects of a quality sofa's interior have been assembled, it's time to consider the material in which it will be upholstered. This is another key part of putting together a first-rate piece of furniture as whatever is chosen for the upholstery will also have an effect on comfort, feel and look of the sofa. A quality sofa will make use of premium materials to create a piece of furniture that will be proud to call your own. There are many types of materials that can make great upholstery choices for sofas including a wide range of leathers and fabrics. Each type of upholstery will have its own look as well as practical advantages and disadvantages, so it's important that you choose one that suits your home's decor and living situation. Finally, when deciding on whether your next sofa should look like or what materials it will have, make sure on the following points. Make sure it has a sturdy frame made with quality materials. The frame joints have been glued and dowelled or with the screwed corner blocks in vital areas. Make sure premium foam, feather or polyester fiber cushion fillings that are supportive and comfy. Make sure the suspension system offers the right level of resistance for maximum comfort and make sure high quality upholstery material is used and that looks and feels luxurious is used. Well, the viewers, as you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of interesting modern open frame sofa design ideas for your inspiration. Which one is your favorite and why? Let us know in the comment section. By now, you know that our channel is full of inspiring videos which you can use in your project from time to time. If you like our content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And also smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. It takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos. Your subscriptions, likes and shares are what inspire us to create more content. Therefore, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And finally, thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.